Somebody catches her eye out there. Just pat the pat the seat next to you. And I love the like little tumult and craziness of the. Whoa. Oh, team Phil. Are you awesome? What's that? Good Yantif, everyone. Good Yantif, Lashana Tova. Lashana Tova, Rabbi. We are so excited to see you here on this really important day, this day of Yom Kippur. It's an important day because we have so many prayers to say. We have lots of I love yous to say and even some I'm sorry's to say, right? That is what this day is about. And Barbara Lozer is going to help lead us in some music in our service. On the first page of your prayer book, you'll see the song, It's Better to Be Better. It's good to be good, and it's better to be better. You can be much better if you try. Doing what is right is sometimes hard to do. Think about it this way and it's easier for you. It's better to be better. It's better to be good. It's better to be friendly. It's better if you would be a friend and wear a smile and do your very best. To make each day a better day, much better than the rest. It's better to be better, it's better to be good. And wouldn't it be better if everybody would? It's better to be better, it's better to think twice. It's better to be thoughtful and it's better to be nice. It's better to be helpful, it's better to be kind, it's better to be sharing, and keep this thought in mind. It's better to be better, it's better to be good, and wouldn't it be better if everybody would? I'll be better, will you? Yes. That is what today is about, is thinking about how we can be better and looking at our prayer books and singing songs to remind us that sometimes being our best self can be tough. And sometimes we don't do the best job we can, and today is about remembering that we can be better. If you turn to pages two and three in your prayer book, look at the picture and then look up. And look at the picture and then look up, because this is a picture of the sanctuary. And there's a lot of things you can pick out. It shows children coming to services and families just like you. Today is Yom Kippur, the most important day in the Jewish year. It's a holy day, a sacred day. All over the world, Jews are doing the same thing 
coming to synagogue on Yom Kippur, we listen to the words of Torah and to the sounds of the shofar. We pray to God and think about right and wrong. We say we are sorry for some things that we have done and ask God to forgive us. By talking about the right things to do, we can learn how to be better people. We promise to do better next year. And on page four, everyone turn to page four, you'll see there's a little boy and a little girl. What do you think he might be holding in his hands? A book. Maybe it's the same prayer book that we have. Maybe they're getting ready for their service too. The Baruch Hu prayer signals the beginning of our service. It tells that we are ready to pray. It reminds us to think about our prayers. Are you ready to pray? Hmm. Are you ready to pray? Then please rise for the Baruch Hu. Adonai Hamorah Baruch Adonai Amevorah Le'olam Ba'et On page five of your prayer book, who's with that little boy? He has a little puppy, and you see there's a little food dish because maybe it's that little boy's job to help take care of the puppy. Maybe it's the little boy who makes sure that the puppy has something to eat, taking care of an animal. And what? That girl, she's carrying this big box. What is in that big box? Things to recycle. Yes, exactly. And she's helping to take care of the earth. Right? She doesn't just throw everything out when she's done. She recycles. Raise your hand if you recycle. Lots of us do. To help care for the earth. We care for our world. Together, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Yotzer Or Uvarei Choshech Osei Shalom Uvarei Et HaKol Praised are you, God, creator of everything everything there is. It's good to be good and it's better to be better and you can be much better if you try. It's good to give thanks for the world that God has given but it's better to take care of earth and sky. It's good to be good and it's better to be better. You can be much better if you try. On page six, what is that little girl doing? Rollerblading. <laughs> and she's wearing a funny hat on her head. What is that funny hat? A helmet to protect her head, right? That's the rules. The rule says... <coughs> If you're rollerblading, you have to wear your helmet. And look at what's at the end of the road. A stoplight, right? What color does the stoplight show us when we need to stop? Red, that's right. And when it's time to go? That's right. And so it looks like she's doing a pretty good job following the rules, don't you think? Wearing her helmet and watching the stoplight together. Ahavat olam beit Yisrael amecha ahavta Torah umitzvot hukim umishpatim otanu lemadata. In English, laws and commandments, rules and limits you have given us. Praised are you, God. You love your people, Israel. It's good to be good. And it's better to be better. You can be much better if you try. It's good to remember the rules that God has given. But it's better if we mind them, you and I.
it's good to be good and it's better to be better and you can be much better if you try on the next page we sing the shema prayer one of the most important prayers that we sing we join together shema yisrael adonai eloheinu adonai sitting down and we turn to page eight. Everyone find page eight. Those kids sure look like they're having a great time playing basketball. No. Those kids sure look like they're having a great time playing ping pong. No. What are they playing? Soccer. That's right. And you knew that because you recognized that when you play soccer, you have to use the right kind of ball, right? And what do you do when you play soccer? You pick up the ball and you throw it to your friends? No. You have to kick it. Those are the rules when we play soccer, right? We use the right kind of ball. We can't touch it with our hands unless we're the goalie. And they look like they're playing nicely, right? They're being thoughtful of each other. We say together, V'yahavta eit Adonai Elohecha, V'chol levavecha, U'v'chol nafshecha, U'v'chol me'odecha. V'hayu hadvarim ha'ela, Asher anochi mitzavecha hayom al levavecha. You shall love the eternal your God with all your mind, with all your strength, with all your being. You should love God completely at all times. No matter what we're doing, we should show our love for God by doing right things. When playing games, we follow the rules. So even when we're playing soccer and following the rules, we show we're loving God. And even when we're in the sandbox, we show we're loving God. And what is what is the little boy doing that might be a beautiful way to show that we love God and we're being our best selves? What is he trying to do? He's sharing. Raise your hand if you're a great sharer. Okay, hands down. Raise your hand if you're a pretty good sharer. Hands down. Raise your hand if you're not a good No, no, no. Don't raise your hands. Sharing. Sharing what we have with others sharing ourselves with others sometimes can be really hard when playing with friends we share when telling a story we tell the truth that's how we show our love for god by doing the right thing it's good to be good and it's better to be better you can be much better if you try. It's good when we pray and say to God, I love you. But it's better doing things to show God why. It's good to be good and it's better to be better. And you can be much better if you try. And while we try to tell the truth and we try to be great shares and we try to follow the rules, sometimes, uh-oh, turn the page. <gasps> Look at that shiny piece. Look at yourself. Uh-oh, I'm sorry when we try, but we miss the mark when we are not our best selves. Yes, we can also make it go off the ceiling. It's very exciting. Sometimes we need to look at ourselves and say, uh-oh, I made a mistake. Raise your hand if you've ever made a mistake. I don't feel so alone anymore, right? We all make mistakes. And when we make a mistake, we say, I'm sorry. It's good to be good, and it's better to be better. 
You can be much better if you try It's good to tell God of the things that we've done wrong But it's better if we each apologize It's good to be good And it's better to be better And you can be much better if you try This is probably the most important part of our service to remember to say I'm sorry when we make a mistake. Can you say please when you ask for something? Yes, I can. But will you remember to say please? Yes, I will. Can you share with your brothers and your sisters and your friends? Yes, I can. But will you remember to share? Yes, I will. Can you show respect to your parents and teachers? Yes, I can. But will you remember to be respectful? Yes, I will. Can you listen, I mean, really listen when others speak? Yes, I can. But will you remember to listen? Yes, I will. Can you show love to your family and friends and respect their feelings? Yes, I can. But will you remember to show your love? Yes, I will. Can you help those who need your help and not ignore them? Yes, I can. Will you remember to help? Yes, I will. Can you take care of God's creatures and God's beautiful world? Yes, I can. But will you remember to take care? Yes, I will. Can you remember these things and try to do them? But will you remember to think about them? Yes, I will. And when you don't remember, can you say you are sorry? Yes, I can. But will you remember to say you're sorry? Yes, I will. On the next page, we have a whole song about saying you're sorry when you're sorry. Say you're sorry when you're sorry When you know that you've been wrong Say you're sorry to another And your heart will sing a song Say you're sorry when you're sorry It's the best thing of you say you're sorry when you're sorry on this day or any day if you're sorry say you're sorry you can find the words to say you can say it with a flower you can say it with a touch you can say it with a smile, and it will mean so very much. Say you're sorry when you're sorry. It's the best thing you can do to make a nice warm feeling, feeling deep inside of We are now on page 13, page 13, and what do you see that tallest boy holding? A Torah scroll. The Torah scroll is our story, and it tells us how to keep trying to be and to do better. So as we take our Torah scroll out of the ark, would you all please rise? Al shlosha devarim, al shlosha shlosha devarim, haolam haolam omed, al haTorah ve'al avoda ve'al gemilut hasadim, al haTorah ve'al avoda ve'al Al shlosh 
You may be seated. I have some friends standing with me. Everyone say Boker Tov and Good Yantif to Lindsay and Stephen Kronowitz. We're so welcome. You are so glad that you are with us because sometimes when we read the Torah, it can be hard to understand. And so we're going to be a team and we're going to do it all together. I'm going to read the Hebrew. Steve's going to read the part that tells us what the Hebrew says. And then Lindsay's going to tell the kids what all that grown up talk sounds like. Does everyone that make sense? So if you want to see what my Torah looks like, turn to pages 14 and 15, and you see a picture of the Torah scroll open wide, and we join together in the blessing. Baruch Hu et Adonai Hamvara, Baruch Adonai Hamvara Leolam Vaed, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Hamim, Venatan Lanu et Torato, Baruch Ata Adonai, No Tain HaTorah. Vayedaber Adonai El Moshe Lemor, Daber El Kol Adap Bene Israel, Via Marta Alehem Kedoshim to you, Ki Kadosh Ani Adonai Elohechem. And God spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to all the congregation of Israel, and say to them, You shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. The name of the Yom Kippur portion is Kiddoshim Holy, which means special. We're supposed to be special because we are created in God's image, and one way to become special is to become a better person. Now the Torah will tell us some ways in which we can become better people. You shall not glean the vineyard, nor gather the fallen fruit of the vineyard. You shall leave them for the poor and for the stranger. Those of us who have plenty to eat must share it with those who don't have enough. Farmers are called upon here to leave the certain parts of their field for the poor. We do the same kind of things today. We help feed them by bringing cans of food on Sukkot, by giving money to buy food, and by collecting it from others, and by working for organizations that distribute food to poor people who don't have enough to eat. You shall not curse the deaf, nor put a stumbling block before the blind. Simply put, this means don't take advantage of other people's weaknesses. You don't trip someone with a broken leg, or talk about someone who is deaf and can't hear you, or tease someone who has something wrong with him. You shall not go up and down as a talebearer among your people. We learn from this that we are not supposed to start rumors about other people, or even pass them on if we hear them. Even if you know something is true, you shouldn't say it. If they want other people to know, they will tell them themselves. You shall not take vengeance or bear any grudge against the children of your people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. This is most important of all, since if we do all this, the others will follow. If we would deal as kindly with others as we deal with ourselves, then everything would fall into place. We want to share. We don't want to be taken advantage of. We don't want rumors spread about us. So we should treat others the same way. And we should remember to do this all year long, not just at Yom Kippur. You shall observe all my laws and all my rules and do them. I am the Lord. The Torah portion closes with a reminder that these are things God wants us to do in order to be better. If we try to do as many of these things as possible, even if we don't succeed at all of them, then we will be better Jews and better people. Beautiful job. Everyone give a big thumbs up. Yoshkoch, excellent. Thank you for helping. We close with our blessing that's on page 14. 
Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher natan lanu Torah emet, Vechaye olam nata betochenu, Baruch atah Adonai, no tena Torah. So friends, we need your help because the Torah is naked. So Rabbi Hayon is going to come and help us dress the Torah. Dress the Torah, we can dress the Torah. Dress the Torah, Torah we can dress. First we put the belt around. Belt around. Belt around. Oh, dress the Torah, we can dress the Torah. Dress the Torah. around. Turn it to the ark. The ark. It is a tree of life to them that hold fast to it. All of its supporters are happy. It is a tree of life to them that hold fast to it. All of its supporters are. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How are you feeling? Great. I'm so happy to see you. So I want to tell you a little story, a little story called Shira at the Temple. This is a story about a little girl named Shira and what she did and what she learned on Yom Kippur Day. Is everybody comfy? Is everybody ready? Is everybody listening? Oh good, then I guess we're ready to start. So once upon a time, there was a little girl whose name was Shira, and in school, in religious school, and at her house, she learned all about Yom Kippur, the most important day of the Jewish year. The day that we say, I'm sorry, and I'll do it better next time, and I forgive you. She learned that some grown-ups don't eat or drink all day on Yom Kippur so they can concentrate on saying they were sorry and forgiving people that they hurt, people who hurt them. And Shira says, oh my goodness. Then Shira learned that there is a story some people hear on Yom Kippur about a guy named Jonah who got swallowed up by a big, big fish. And Shira said, Oh my goodness. Shira knew that every Jewish family takes Yom Kippur really seriously because this is the day that we make our apologies and we pray to God and make a plan to do better the next year. 
So on Yom Kippur morning, Shira's family all got ready to go to temple. Shira got to wear her prettiest, fanciest white dress, just like mine. And when she put it on, she looked in the mirror and she said, oh my goodness, she looked really fancy. And so her family took their prayer books and their talits and they put them on and they walked to the temple. And during the service, they sat down and they got ready to pray and they opened the book and inside the book, everything was written in Hebrew. And Shira said, Oh my goodness, because Shira's English reading was only so-so, and her Hebrew reading was even weaker, so she didn't think she was going to be able to say any prayers and talk to God. And the service went on and on and on, and she was wondering how she could be a part of the service and how she could connect with God when she didn't read English all that well, and she didn't read Hebrew at all. So, in the middle of the service, Shira got up, from her seat in the front row. And she walked up the stairs, up onto the bima, up even more stairs to the rabbi who is standing at the reader's table. And she said, <coughs> Excuse me. And the rabbi looked down he said, Shira, what are you doing here? And she said, Rabbi, I know I'm a little kid, and I don't know very much Hebrew, but I really, really, really want to be a part of this service. And the rabbi said, okay, Shira, go ahead. So Shira came out, and she stood right here in front of the whole congregation. And she went like this. Hey, God! It's Shira! I really want to be a part of this service, but I don't read any Hebrew, and I can barely read any English, so I'm not sure if you're going to be able to understand my prayers. So the only thing I can do is send you a whole bunch of letters and let you make them into prayers. Shira took a deep breath, and she went, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A, T, K, L, M, L, P, Q, R, Z, W, L, S, Y, Z. And everyone in the congregation looked around at each other, and they were a little surprised. And Shira said, Hey, God! You need some more? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A, T, K, L, M, L, P, Q, R, Z, W, L, S, Y, Z. Everyone in the congregation was totally quiet. And when she opened her eyes, she saw that everyone was smiling. And she turned around, and she went back up to the rabbi, and she said, Rabbi, what did you think? Do you think it worked? And the rabbi said, Shira, the most important part of a prayer isn't the words that it's written in, isn't the way it's spelled, isn't if you can read it or sing very well or understand Hebrew, the most important part of a prayer is that it comes from your heart. And Shira, I think that prayer came right from your heart. So I think God understood it. And I think God understands how sorry you are for the things that went wrong last year. And I think God knows that this year will be an even better year. And do you know what Shira said? Oh my goodness! Have a great new year, everybody. Happy Yom Kippur. Thank you for being with us. Now we're singing. We are going to sing together in your prayer books on page 17. <laughs> Be much better if you try. It's good to give thanks for the world that God we've given, but it's better to take care of earth and sky. It's good to be good, and it's better to be better. You can be much
much better if you try. It's good to remember the rules that God has given, but it's better if we mind them, you and I. It's good to be good, and it's better to be better. You can be much better if you try. It's good when we pray and say to God we love you. It's better doing things to show God why. It's good to be good, and it's better to be better. And you can be much better if you try. It's good to tell God of the things that we've done wrong, but it's better if we each apologize. It's good to be good, and it's better to be better. You can be much better if you try. I'll be better. Will you? Yes. Inspired by that awesome story, we know that it is what's in our hearts that helps us to do better. On page 18, we praise God with the words of Alenu. Would you please rise as the ark is open? Velo samanu kemish bechot adama, shelo sam chelkenu kahem, vigor aleinu kechol hamonam, banach nu korim, umishtachavim umodim, lifne melech malche hamlachim, Hakadosh Baruchu, Benemar Vehayadunai, Lemelech al kol haaretz, Bayom haahu, Bayom haahu, Yie Adunai echad, Ushemo, Ushemo. You may be seated. So on page 19, this is our chance to ask for God's blessing on the people we love. So this is a great time, <laughs> quietly, if you want to put your arm around someone you love or hold the hand of someone you love or maybe even sit on the lap of someone you love. This is a good time because we know that it's really special to touch someone that we care about if we want to give them a blessing. So we are on page 19. We'll let Rabbi Silk put her hands on somebody she loves. These are really, really ancient and important words that our Torah tells us we can use when we want to bless the people who mean so much to us. Yivarechecha Adonai v'yishmerecha. You can read the English. May God bless you and keep you. Ya'er Adonai panav elecha v'chunecha. May God deal kindly and graciously with you. Yisa Adonai panav elecha v'yisemlecha shalom. May God bestow favor on you and give you peace. Big kiss. I love it! That's the best sound, all those kisses from the sanctuary. Oh. So friends, we're on page 20. Who's ready for some of this? Huh? Is this the awesomest unicorn ever? Huh? This is the... It's the Yom Kippurnikon. So we're on page 20. Time to listen to the shofar. 
Tradition tells us that the shofar blast carries our prayers from this sanctuary all the way to God. And there are a couple of blessings we say before we listen to the sound of the shofar. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kishanu B'Mitzvotav V'Sivanu Lishmoa Kol Shofar We praise you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe. You make us holy when we do your commandments, and you command us to listen to the sound of the shofar. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehecheyanu, Vikiyamanu, Vihigiyanu, Lazman Hazed. We praise you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe. You give us life and keep us alive, and you have allowed us to reach this happy, wonderful time of the year. Kia Gitola <laughs> we have a couple announcements that we want to share with you before we sing one last song and say goodbye for the day. A reminder to all of our friends and all of our families about Sukkot on Sunset Sunday, September 27th at 4 p.m. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be super awesome. Barbecue, Texas style, lots of stuff to play with and fun things to do. Bring your whole family. It is free, but we need you to register on the website so we know that you're coming and we can get all the fun stuff ready for you. Number two, if you have collected some food, some canned food in a bag that we can share with people who are hungry on this Yom Kippur, we would love for you to bring those bags full of canned food back to us by Sunday evening at September, on September 27th so we can make sure that food goes to people who need it. So you can bring those bags full of food with you to Sukkot on Sunset. Number three, we're having a morning play date on Sukkot. Monday, September 28th, that's the morning of Sukkot, 9.30 a.m. here at Emmanuel. It's going to be cash. It's going to be fun. It's going to be awesome. Bring your whole family, 9.30, September 28th. Lastly, after we sing, I'm going to ask you to use your whole bodies. I'm going to need you to use your mouths and your lungs to sing good and loud and your ears to listen. I want your eyes to watch Barbara be awesome on the guitar. And then after we sing, we're going to use our healthy legs to scoot on out of the sanctuary <laughs> so that we can start our next service on time. I am so happy that you are all here. Let's take a deep breath. And sing! It's good to be good, and it's better to be better. You can be much better if you try. I'll be better, will you? Yes! Hey! Good Yontem, everybody! Thank you for being with us! <laughs> <laughs>